Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this Crusaders career mode. Our next game in pre-season is going to be up against the Emirates Lions. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because we will be doing a lot more of these career mode videos in the future. But without further ado, let's get right into this match against the Lions at Orange Theory Stadium. Welcome to this important game of the competition. The Lions have a tough match ahead of them. They don't hold much hope for their chances here against the much stronger side of the Crusaders. My co-commentator with the... Right, so by the sounds of it, the commentators are saying we should win this one pretty easily. I don't know about that. The Lions have got some good players, but then we played very well in that last match against the Sharks. So we have got a little bit of form going into this match of pre-season. And we will have one more match after this one of pre-season, which will include the new players that we get in the transfer window. And you guys have been suggesting quite a few players, so I will see what I can do in terms of who is available to get signed and not. Yeah, I think we are going to end up with a strong team. It's going to be tough because I did put salary cap on this time. And to be honest, with some of the players that you guys are saying, I don't think we're going to be able to afford them all. Unfortunately, the Lions wear red on their back, which makes it a little bit awkward. Will Jordan takes that one well. But he is tackled. Loses some ground. Bryn Hall now passes to Richie Moanga. Pies it out to Havili. One more out to Severis, the man who could do no wrong in the last match. He has been very much isolated there, though. Now it is with Hall. Back to Havili. One more to Richie Moanga. Who passes to Bridge, who didn't find the offload, sadly. It's there. We are going to go to the left. Christie now. Out to Will Jordan on the wing. He's done the step. Has he got around him? Yes, he had. Oh, he got tackled by the second man, though. I thought he was going to run away there, Will Jordan. Good you now. Out to Richie Mwanga. One more out to Severis, who sees a big gap. Can he get to the try line? No, he's been hit by the fullback once again, and that should be the Lions ball, but I think we're going to keep it. We have got two of our backs standing right next to the ruck, I believe. Bridge now. Out to Alan Alatoa, and that is what happens when the backs are all out of position. You end up with no one there. It's a good tackle from Richie Moanga there. Hopefully we can get this ball back. Good tackle from Cody Taylor. But the Lions have still got this ball. They're trying to work their way up the field, but it's not really working for them at the moment. We are driving them backwards. Scott Barrett makes the tackle there. Is that not our ball? No, it's not. And because I tried to contest, it will still be the Lions. It's a good tackle. The Lions haven't really gone anywhere in the last 10 phases. Oh, and Joe Moody just stole that one, but it looks like, yes, the Lions take it straight back. Maybe that's the momentum that they needed. They're driving forward now, the Lions. They have kept this ball. The moment we are just defending. Hopefully they do decide to fire it wide soon. Either get an attack going or we can steal that ball. That is going to be our ball now. It took us about 10 minutes. But we have got that one now. Alala Tawa out to George Bridge who sees a bit of a gap up the middle. Puts it on the inside to Mawanga who offloads to Alan Alala Tawa. Are we going to be able to break them down here? The Lions playing well so far. Havili now. Oh, he was in our back line, that player. It's a good low tackle from Sever Reese though. So the Lions have got the ball back. Tell you what. Oh, I've stolen that, but I've just thrown it into touch. The commentators all said we would win this one easily. I'm not so sure. The Lions are playing pretty well in terms of defending at the moment. Which isn't what we like to see. We want to score some points. Oh, that's well stolen by Sam Whitelock, though. Now Tom Christie having a run. Out to Havili. Quick hands out to George Bridge. This is looking like it's going to be try time. And George Bridge is going to score the first try of the match for the Crusaders. It took us 25 minutes. Unlike last week, when it took all of about four, I think it took us. But we finally break down the Lions. And George Bridge scores. Now, the big thing here... It is pre-season, but in the real season, I think it's going to be a competition between Sevi Reese and George Bridge to see who can score the most tries. Because Sevi Reese got four in that first match, George Bridge got the other. So if you're keeping tally of this pre-season at the moment, Sevi Reese is 4-2 up. But it will be interesting to see what happens in the real season. 
Richie Moanga now to take this kick. Hopefully it will go over. Surely, yes, straight down the middle. And because of it, we are now 7-0 up in this match against the Lions. It will be quite sick to kick off for the Lions. Kutsia, sorry, I said that a little bit wrong. Joe Moody, no, it's been ripped away straight away by the Lions. They've come to play. It's just unfortunate that they are now a try behind for them. Alan Alan Alatoa drags him down. And that is going to still be the Lions' ball. This is dangerous here. Good tackle from Will Jordan. Where are they going to go, the Lions? They seem like they don't know where to run when they are on attack at the moment. And they have dropped the ball, so it is advantage to us. What do we do with this one? That's the question. I feel like kicking downfield isn't really the best option, purely because their fullback will get that one. So we're going to try and use our backs. It's Richie Moanga out to Will Jordan on the wing. He's got Severis behind him. No, he doesn't really, because Severis was a little bit behind. Alan Alatoa with a good support run, though. Luckily. <laughs> Sounds like someone's doing beatboxing out there. Moanga now fires it out to Havili. He's got George Bridge outside him who does the step round the Lions play. He tries another one, but he is tackled that time. And that has been ripped away by the Lions. They've been very good in the breakdown. And unfortunately for them, it just hasn't quite opened up any opportunities yet. Moanga, no, it's been stolen by Skozan. And it's out to their number six. And someone is still beatboxing for me. I can hear it in my ears. I'm not sure who it is. One of the players has decided. He wants to be a beatboxer in his spare time, although I'm not sure whether rugby and beatboxing at the same time is the easiest thing to do, so probably fair play to him. Haveli is tackled, and it's been ripped away by the Lions once again, and now he's found Skozan. Will Jordan wake up? He was just standing there at the back. <laughs> they have been forced into touch. Tell you what, the Lions, they didn't play a bad game that half. It was just all out ripping it away at the breakdown. We only had three handling errors. But possession very even. I'd say we definitely need a try early in the second half for the Lions. They have a chance of coming back in this match. The more times that we seem to go to the breakdown, it benefits them. So we've got to keep that ball moving, but hopefully make smart decisions so we don't just throw the ball away. It's well taken from Tom Sanders there. They almost tried to get in there quick enough. What way was the wind going? It was going across, which means now it will be going that way. So I'm going to be trying to put a big boot in behind as Hall. It looks like it's going to be a decent one. It has pulled up very nicely for him, though. Is it forward? No, it wasn't. Will Jordan is slightly out of position there. Where are they going now? And because of it, he tried to kick. Luckily, I cut him off a little bit. But they have still found touch the lines. Someone is still beatboxing. I guess he is committed to his craft. Right. Lineouts lately for me have been a little bit of an issue. Hopefully this one will be all right. Or oh, just almost stolen by the Lions player. Now it's out to Tom Christie. Will Jordan with the long pass. Good you. Out to George Bridge once again. He's got Havili on his outside and he uses him. Oh, he's been tackled. What a tackle that is. That is an incredible defensive play by the Lions. I can't even be mad at that. Did you see that? That was incredible. I would show a replay, but I have a line out to win now. Hopefully we can win it. Tell you what, that was a try save and tackle and a half. Unfortunately for them though, they have just given us the ball. Havili now, he's almost there. No, he's been stopped again. Havili, David Havili, what does he have to do to score? We're going to go to Scott Barrett here. He will be able to drive over. Has he? Yes, he has. And Scott Barrett scores. Tell you what, it's not Havili's day to score. Two incredible tackles on him. Stop that from happening. But Scott Barrett, he's a big man and he drives over. I thought Havili was going to make it here, but no, just short on his back, wasn't able to roll over. But then Hall decides to go to Scott Barrett, who's a big man, and he drives his way over, puts the ball down, that's a guy's chin. And because of it, we are now leading this game a little bit more. Richie Moanga to convert this, hopefully, and that will make it 14 0 And it looks like it will be. It must be someone on our team beatboxing, because you'd think if you were losing 14 0 you'd stop and try and concentrate on the game. But one of our fellas, he has a passion for beatboxing and he's gonna continue to do it 
throughout the second half by the sounds of it. Has been kicked off. Hopefully, Alan Alatawa. Yes, he has got that one. Right, what is our plan here? The kick worked decently well last time, so I might try it again. Try and get it down into their area. It hasn't gone as wide as last time, but it has got a steep bounce there. Puts there. Goes on the inside. Hopefully, we can rip this one away, can we? Yes, we can. Scott Barrett's got it. Fires it back to Joe Moody, who's putting up a little bit of speed. We still got that ball. Yes, we do. We've got to go to the left here. We've got numbers. Al Alatawa to Bridge. Alan is outside to Will Jordan, but it is an awkward one for him. And we lose all momentum there. Now it is Hall to Mawanga. One more to Al Alatawa. One out to Goodhue. Sevi Reese got to run up the middle. Yes, he is Sevi Reese. That was a great run. But he has been tackled by their fullback now. Hall round the side. Has been tackled extremely well around the side of the ruck, and we have lost that ball now. That's a bit of a gap, but George Bridge manages to cover it. What are the Lions going to do with this now? They didn't want to kick last time, and I feel like they'll be least likely to now, and definitely more or less likely to now that we have the ball. Richie Moanga plays half back, tries to sell the dummy, it hasn't worked out, and they have lost us the ball now. Oh, it's a good ball. Sko San, he's a hard man to catch. He has been tackled into touch. Was it Sko San? No, it wasn't. It was their other winger. That's probably a good thing because if it was Sko San, he was gone. I don't think Havili would have caught him. That's on their side, unfortunately, which means we are more than likely going to lose this one. Yes, we have. Giving the Lions the ball now. That's not really what we wanted to do. But it has been good defence from the boys. I will say that so far. Oh no, he's just been sold the dummy. That's a great run by the Lions player there. But Goodhue rips it away straight away. Will Jordan now out to Havili. One more to Sevi Reese. No, he's had his back jumped on. by Skosan there. We're going to go in behind with the kick. That might be too long though. It's going to have to pull up. It's going to have to pull up big time, and it has, it has pulled up, is Hall going to jump on this? No, not quite, and it will be a 22 dropout, tell you what, if that ball had pulled up a little bit shorter, that could have been very interesting with what happened with it, but the Lions a little bit lucky there, unlucky for Hall as well. He's done the step, but he hasn't passed it, unfortunately had his arms tied up, and that is the Lions ball once again, they're very good in the breakdown. And at rucks, I have to say. But we are not too bad either. Whitelock now out to Goodhue. Does he have Sever Reese on his outside? Yes, he does, but he didn't quite get enough distance on it. Sanders stealing that one. But straight away, those two Lions players get in the ruck, but it hasn't made it. Their ball there. It's gone out to Will Jordan. One more out to George Bridge. Surely he's going to make it. And luckily, it's going to be a try just before full time, so he might get one more go before the end of this match. As long as I take this kick quickly, George Bridge though, great try. If you keep in tally, that is three to him, four to Sever Reese between those two wingers. Goes Hall, out to Will Jordan, good pass, out to George Bridge, and he is too quick to catch from there. And George Bridge scores his second of the match. Right, I will take this one. Hopefully I am quick enough. Yes, we will be, which means we get one more chance. Hopefully we can score again. Would be very nice. Although the Lions, I feel they don't deserve to lose. I feel like they don't even deserve to lose 21-0. But to lose 28-0 would be a bit of an insult for them. They're making subs. I always forget to, even though in the first episode I said I would try and make more subs in this series, I'm pretty sure. But we won't be doing it for this game. It is a little bit late. He's kicked long for the Lions. Moanga takes that one. And it's tackled by the kick taker. Or oh, you've got to go in behind, don't you? Their fullback made the tackle. That probably went... No, that went too far to that side. It will mean that Skosan has got a decent chance at that one. Don't do a forward pass. Right. What are we going to do from here? Are they going to... Oh, they've gone wide here. I was trying to make sure that I didn't tackle him into touch there, but it almost meant he went straight round. They're going for a drive now, the Lions. 
hasn't worked out for them. Will Jordan with the tackle. Sanders rips the ball away. Now it is Whitelock. Fires it out to Goodhue. One more. Out to Moanga who does a little step. George Bridge picks it up on the bounce. Can he find... No, he hasn't found Havili. He's found Joe Moody on his outside. Probably not who he expected to see on the wing. But work nonetheless. Goodhue now to... Oh, if he had gone to Moanga. It might have been interesting there. Moanga tackled once again. Lions once again defending well. Out to Severi Reese. He's too quick. Severi Reese, surely. Yes, he is. And Severi Reese is going to score his first of the match. And Crusaders do score in the 90th minute of this match. We stuck at it, and luckily it did pay off. And it was that man, Severi Reese, who scored. We decided to go to the right. It was Douglas who passes out. To Severi Reese, who off the mark is just incredibly quick, and he's a very hard man to stop, and because of it, we do score. Richie Moanga to convert this one. It's a straightforward one. Hopefully, he can get it. And it looks like he will. Richie Moanga will be four from four for his kicking, and we have scored the four tries in this match. If it wasn't pre season, it would be a bonus point, which is what we are aiming for throughout the season. We want a lot of them. Because we are going to need them this year. It could be pretty close. I just have a little bit of a feeling. It always is in Super Rugby. Right, the tries were scored by Scott Barrett. George Bridge got two. Severi Reese got the other. And Moanga kicking four from four. The Lions just unable to get through our defence. We had to work hard to get through theirs. But they probably didn't deserve to lose 28-0. Ah, yes, see the Lions. 69 tackles. They made more than us. Handling errors one, line breaks five, so they were a decent side. They did play relatively well. It's just the fact that we were able to get those points on the board and keep getting those points on the board. So it was a win to the Crusaders. Right, we are required to draft our squad for the 2020 Super Rugby season. So that will be at the start of next video. But anyway, that's the end of this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.